1957, George Hallis took a tip from a jockey at Hialeah Racetrack in Miami and placed a bet not on a horse, but on a player named Willie Gallimore. Gallimore number 28 came to the Bears as a late round draft choice from tiny Florida A&M and proved to be one of the last great steals before scouting became sophisticated. Elusive and swift, Willie was the Ferrari of running backs, possessing a passing gear other players only dream about. A rival defensive lineman once said, he was not hard to bring down once you got your hands on him, but getting your hands on Willie was unbelievably difficult. Willie was nicknamed Willie the Wisp, and in reality, that was the way he ran. All of a sudden, you'd see him break out into the open, and uh, you don't know where he came from. Willie was unbelievably quick going downfield. He, he wasn't uh, sideways or this way. He just zoomed down the field and seemed to be so fast nobody could catch him. You ever try go hunting and a rabbit's in an open field and you try to shoot a rabbit or you ever try tackling a guy like that? He had speed like you. He, one motion, the same speed, be able to cut. The only difference between him and Michael Henney, Willie was faster. To me, it seemed like he did the 109-2 going like this. Fantastic. Will of the West, Willie Gallimore puts the Bears on their way to another score. Willie Gallimore reverses his field, bobbles the ball, gets it back, shakes off tackler after tackler on a spectacular touchdown gallop. Willie Gallimore could turn the corner faster than most fellas could run forward. I've seen him do that. Gallimore never gained a thousand yards in a season, but statistics were not the measure of this man. He painted pictures in the open field. Each run was a Rembrandt, and as a collection, they became a gallery that hung in the memory. It seemed like everybody forgot it, and he's made some runs that I've never seen a back do yet. I have never seen anyone and I don't believe you have in any of your film seen anyone catching from behind or from an angle. He's only nine.